we know how to name ranges, we know how to quickly create names, now we need to know how to quickly apply names in formulas. So, as an example, I have a name here, I've named this range of cells, January, this range of cells, February, March, this range of cells, region one, this range, region two, and so on. Now, I have formulas along the bottom calculating totals, and I would like them to use the names, because right now it just says sum of B2 to B6, which happens to be the range that we've called January. So instead of me having to manually do this, because remember the problem with this, if I come in here, and manually put in January, and then I fill that across, because I don't want to redo all these formulas, you'll see I'm just repeating the same value, and that's because the name doesn't change. It's still going to say sum of January. It's an absolute reference. So to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a feature, a uh, feature in Excel that allows me to apply names where a range that has a name equivalent is used. So what I mean by that is it's going to look and see B2 to B6 has a name called January and anywhere where I'm referencing B2 to B6 in a formula, it's going to apply that name. And here's how you do that. You're going to go to the formulas tab and right next to the define name button, you might want to be drawn to this button used in formula, but that's not what's going to do it. The define name button has a little drop down arrow next to it. You're going to click that. You're going to choose apply names. And then what you're going to want to do is highlight the names that you would like to go through and apply in this spreadsheet. So I'd like to apply my January, February, March names as well as my region one to five. As soon as I hit OK, I want you to watch this formula here along the top. Automatically updates uses the name. This one's using February. This one's using March. Region one, region two, region three. So that's a really fast way to get those names in your formulas without doing it manually. And of course that fixes the issue of the fact that if we use the fill handle, it just fills an absolute reference as a name so it just stays constant. Whereas using the uh, apply names feature, you can get all the benefits of using the fill handle with your normal reference and then apply the names after the fact.